this has been an amazing year. Um, we've had the opportunity as an organization to work with some of the f most amazing entrepreneurs in the country today, and I think we just need to give them all a round of an applause. <laughs> 18 months ago, one of your classmates wrote a blog, very upset. He was a social entrepreneur who was frustrated with the world, and his blog read three words, philanthropy is dead. The same day he met someone in Chennai who said, oh, actually, there's this amazing group in Bombay called Dust for Social Impact where you should speak to, and they actually know how to revive philanthropy. <laughs> Dr. Srinivasan was that individual, and today, nine months after coming through the program, was invited by the Dorabji Tata Trust, the largest trust in our country, which gives 300 crores, or $66 million out annually, told Dr. Srinivasan that he should apply for a grant. This is just one of many, many stories that we have that have just started from the last two days of investor panels to the next 12 to 18 months of not only funds coming to your organizations, but more importantly, the support, hopefully, that you gain from your peers, from the resource people, from our fantastic partners such as First Light Ventures. Charlie Kleisner, Social Impact International, and Lisa Kleisner. And even our capacity building partners, such as Magic Bus at the Kurgit Center. It's been an amazing nine months, and I think you, what you guys are gonna do over the next 18, 24 months, and even in the future, is going to be absolutely phenomenal. It's been an honor for us to be working with you guys and to have this opportunity to actually work with, like I said, some of the best social entrepreneurs, not just in India, but in the world. And I really appreciate all the time and commitment you guys have given us, the harassment that you guys put up with, with your mentors, with you doing your homework assignments, uh, the site visits, and everything else. Um, I also want to thank our team, who's worked very, very hard to get to this level. As you guys know, the main people at DSI have been Joseph and Vikas, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they've been working on a volunteer basis for the last nine months, helping you with your models. So thank you guys for everything, and I wish you guys the best of luck, and you guys know our numbers, our email addresses, and where you need to come to if you need additional support and guidance. Uh, and thank you for everything. I'm Charlie Kleisner, and I'm honored to be here uh, today with you, with uh, the graduates, uh, with our friends, with our supporters, with DASRA, and everybody else. Uh, this is a special day, and I'm proud to be here also on behalf of uh, Social Impact International. Uh, when we started Social Impact International about six years ago, this was the dream that we had, to be able to work with people like yourselves and helping you have a bigger positive impact. And uh, graduation is always special because it's uh, a time for us to reflect a little bit on uh, just the last nine months and the journey that we have been on together, uh, but also project out a little bit about uh, what's going to happen in the next uh, few years and decades. And I want to I, I use maybe a couple of minutes um, before we go into the main meat of the ceremony to reflect on three uh, themes. And, um, you know, when I think about what we are all about and everybody in this cohort uh, is about positive impact. And this really takes a special person and a special um, attitude and dedication. And, uh, but I also am confident that once that uh, you have chosen to work on positive uh, impact, that that 
will change that will not change during the rest of your lives and i'm proud to have been able to be associated with you during these nine months but also for the rest of our lives because our paths you know we cross again uh, in this um, uh, endeavor to really translate this intention into something that's real and tangible i also think a second theme uh, that has been certainly that you lived during the last nine months as part of DASA Social Impact is that you have shown uh, adaptability and flexibility in uh, dealing with uh, changes in your business plan and your business strategy, in your attitude towards <laughs> philanthropy or what, whatever it was. But I'm sure that all of you went um, and had to do that. And this is uh, something that's, I think, even going to accelerate in the times that are ahead for the globe and us as global citizens and us as regional citizens who again want to make an impact that's lasting that things that we dream up uh, today might be wrong tomorrow right and uh, real entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs who care about this develop the uh, uh, ability to actually adapt uh, with the changing environment to work on solutions that make uh, an impact and the last theme, I think, uh, that you have shown, not only over the last nine months, but probably much longer, that also is going to serve you over the next few years, is the ability to focus, the ability to um, keep on going, uh, no matter what is in your way, the, um, the ability to really um, hang on to this uh, vision that you have, that you developed, for positive impact. Uh, some would even say a certain level of stubbornness, uh, but if it's channeled in the right way, it's what's required you know, to be successful and again, to have the impact that you desire and that we all want, want to have. And so let me just end up with a quote of, uh, of uh, a person who didn't give long speeches uh, either. I think it was Winston Churchill uh, that said, <laughs> never, never ever, ever, give up. Thank you, congratulations. Great, thank you, Charlie. Uh, so how many of you don't know what Thus for Social Impact is? Hands up, should we explain it a little bit? Very funny, very <laughs> funny. So everyone knows. Um, just to give a brief description to people who might just be coming to this graduation because I begged you or um, you're interested in knowing what's happening. So Thus for Social Impact is an executive education program uh, where we invite both nonprofits as well as social businesses to come on a journey that lasts nine months but mainly is involved, uh, very involved between three workshops. And through each workshop, we work with these organizations, but more so there's a significant amount of peer learning, and as I'm sure you'll notice through the evening, quite a lot of bonding. Uh, and so over the nine months, these relationships have fostered into partnerships for some of you, clarity in your business plans, uh, and clarity in your elevator pitches. <laughs> So um, in, in the spirit of you know, the team, we asked you to uh, select and vote for a representative that would speak for the class. Uh, and so we would like to invite Neju and Sangeeta who were, uh, yeah. <laughs> Seems like ladies first. You have to stand next to her, you have to come together. <laughs> Yeah, we represent Kerala. <laughs> okay, actually wrote something out, so, and don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, social entrepreneurs. I guess that's what we all are. We've been called incredible, crazy, amazing, and my dad even went to the extent of calling me a beggar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this, this is the bad thing that happens when you come from a family of overachievers, where I, you know, I'm somewhere at the bottom. Anyway, 
All my Dasha fellows I found were a motley crew of absolutely passionate social activists working in, you know, in their hometowns, in their states, in, across India, abroad. And a lot of them were very accomplished doctors, engineers, graduates from IIT, Stanford, ha uh, Harvard. And being with all these wonderful people was, uh, you know, gave me a mixed feeling of emotions. And the experiences that I've had have been amazing. Um, one of my major learnings was that I was not the only crazy one. And I'm definitely going to tell my dad this. Um, the Dasra workshop. Now, somewhere in between uh, a lot of Neera's, keep it clean, keep it clean, guys, we learned a lot of things. It was, it was a very enlightening uh, workshop, as it was uh, empowering and definitely exciting. Uh, the direct impact of this workshop to me was uh, that I was able to streamline my thoughts, think in a very uh, systematic way, instead of just, you know, rambling on and on and on and about, about what I was passionate about. Um, preparing uh, our elevator pitches, which we all have to give. I hope I'm excused because I gave this long. No? OK. <laughs> Prepare a business plan and something which is a great achievement for me because I'm like totally technologically challenged. Um, and presenting to a whole bunch of people, including uh, my fellows, my uh, fellow in, um, fellows, investors, grant makers, and things like that, people like that. Uh, one of the wonderful things that has happened, which I'm sure everyone will agree with me, was the fact that we had the opportunity to meet with really amazing people in this space. Fellow entrepreneurs today was a, an absolutely uh, you know, thrilling speech by uh, Anand from uh, third, what? Super 30. I mean, it, it, it actually brought tears to our eyes. And Kalyani also would agree with me. And, uh, you know, and investors, grant makers, I only wish that people were there just writing checks to give me and say, okay, here's it for your libraries. But then it didn't, hasn't happened as yet, but I'm sure it will. <laughs> and, um, now, um, and then the mentors we worked with uh, who were really good, my mentor actually came and listened to my mock presentation. I was very, very thrilled about it. Now, um, I'm going to hand it over to Neju. And Neju is uh, somebody in our team, those who don't, do not know, who the moment we, he opens his mouth, we all start laughing. So here's to a fun time listening to him. Yeah, I hope so. See, I, have, I am always under performance pressure. <laughs> My wife works in a finance company, and she br br brings a plaque, which the company has given her, which says, performance matters always. <laughs> so it's a... <laughs> So, so throughout throughout this last nine months, it's it's been always. And Nira doesn't let us off. Now also you have to present your elevator pitches. You know you have to do that, do this. So I am kind of a guy who can't. Perform under pressure. Yeah, perform under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. So, uh, so <clears throat> I tried thinking of what has to be said today and uh, actually there are no words to describe what these things that we have gone through so when when we speak it it does not actually help us to you know we actually keep reducing the experience that we have gone through and i've kind of uh, tried thinking what is it that has happened to all of us and you see i have uh, uh, because i 